Hey friends, hey, 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 joyful people. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome, and this is your first time here. I'm Christine. On this channel, I share content on motherhood, self-care, productivity, and how to have a overall joyful life. I want to share 10 things that I've decided I am not buying in 2024. 2024, I really want to focus on finances, tighten things up a bit, avoid waste, and overall just improve my quality of life and just, you know, cut back on unnecessary purchases. Um, purchases that are just kind of like on the whim, just because, not things I need. But just because I see it, I like it, and I want to have it, um, I want to avoid those kind of purchases. So without further ado, let's get into this list. Okay, you guys. So the number one thing that I've decided that I'm not buying in 2024 is candles. And this list is in no particular order. But candles, I love candles. If you know me, you know I love a good scented candle, especially if it has a cute little message on it. I love it. I see it. I can't resist. I want to bring it home. And I realized I have a lot of candles that I have not even used. So I've decided in 2024, I am not buying any more candles. For instance, I've got this. So cute. It says, we've got all things are possible. This is like my weakness. I, Whenever I see a nice candle with a nice, inspiring, beautiful message, I can't resist. I have to bring it home in 2024 and staying at the store. <laughs> This is also another one that's really cute that I love. It says, home is where mom is. <laughs> Ain't that so sweet? I love it. Um, I did get a candle for my sister for Christmas. I'm going to show it to y'all. So cute. And it smells amazing. It says, it's called Sun Drench Linen. Love it. It's, it just smells so fresh. It smells like clean laundry love it so that's just a few of the candles that i have i have like about a dozen candle and um yeah we're not buying any more candles in 2024 the second thing i'm not buying in 2024 is bottled water i have a case that we're, we're finishing we have about like half a dozen left we're gonna finish drinking these and then i'm not buying no more bottled water um we're gonna start using sink water i actually got me another one of these got me one of these we're gonna start using this to drink the sink water um, yeah so no more bottled water in 2024 buying another one of these so I, the reason why I really started buying butter, butter water was for my daughter. I was like, oh, I don't want to just give her sink water, la, 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 la. But 2024, we're not doing bottled water because honestly, I don't really think that the bottled water is healthier or safer <laughs> in any way. So we're giving that up in 2024. The next thing I'm giving up in 2024 is buying coffee mugs i don't drink coffee i'm a tea lover but i can't resist a nice cute coffee mug and it's crazy and people give them to me as gifts like i had gotten this one from um crate and barrel one year as a gift i go to events they give um, a mug i want to take one or two <laughs> And in 2024, I don't need no more coffee mug, no more tea mugs. I'm good. Like, staying at the store. Don't need to bring it home. The fourth thing I am not buying in 2024 is baby formula. Now, maybe this is a cheap one because I'm not buying it. Because anyway. my daughter, she's no longer drinking um, baby formula. We can use regular whole milk, pasteurized milk. So I'm very excited about that because we spent a lot of money on baby formula last year. And sometimes it was like a hustle to try to find her formula. You would go to 
three, four different store before you find it because there was some kind of scarcity going around. If you're a mom, you know how hard it was to find formula. They even locked them up at um, some other pharmacy like CVS or even Target. They're locked behind uh, glass doors. And when you go to the store, you have to spend an extra 30 minutes ringing a bell waiting for someone to assist you. So I'm so glad I'm no longer buying baby formula. We're going to save a lot of money not buying baby formula in 2024. The next thing I am not buying is journals and stationery, guys. Oh, my God. Just like mugs and candles and things like that, I cannot resist buying a journal, buying a cute um, <laughs> notebook. Like, I just can't. It's just, they're just so cute. Like, I have so many of them. Some of them, the, I ha I start writing in them and then I, I switch up. So um, I did pick up this one for myself. You know, I like to get one of those planners at the start of the year. I did get this one. Um, I gifted myself this for Christmas, a 2024 planner. And that is it. I'm not buying any more when I go to the stores. So that's that. The next thing I'm not buying in 2024 is like home decor um you know if i go thrifting and i see something unless it's like a dollar or under ten dollars i'm i don't need i don't need the clutter i i just don't need to bring home anything else so and also like i said i want to embrace a more minimalist lifestyle so no more home decor Number seven is going to be tough is clothing for myself. I don't want to buy any clothes in 2024 unless I thrift something and it has to be really, really good. Something that's like, oh, it's a designer, it's good quality and I can't leave it behind. Otherwise, I'm not buying no new clothes retail for myself. It's like, no, thank you. Don't need it. The next thing I'm not buying in 2024 is junk food. Um, you know, I eat pretty healthy, but every now and then I want to have a little bit of snack around. I want to have some sweet. I want to have some chocolate. I want to, I'm going to cut back on sugar. You're sweet already. You don't need any more sugar. <laughs> I want to cut back on sugar. So no more junk food chips and candy and all that stuff gum now we want to preserve these this grill we want to preserve it so yeah i'm not buying no junk food and no candy in 2024 the next thing i'm not buying which will be tough is toys for my daughter um she got some toys for christmas i feel like that's enough for the year she don't need any new toys she got toys from family toys for christmas and if somebody want to give her toys like her family they're always giving her stuff like that's fine but me as for me spending my money buying her toys we're not doing it in 2024 um and last but not least the number the number 10th item that i am not buying in 2024 oh, this one's gonna be hard guys it's gonna be hard it is paper towels. I mean, I went to Target the other day. Well, um, in December before the holiday, I went to, I had a last minute run to Target and I was trying to buy a pack of six paper towels. And that thing, those things are expensive. Like literally you spending 20, 30 bucks on something that you're going to wipe your hands with and throw in the garbage. Um, and I'm just like, I'm not doing it anymore. In 2024, I'm going to get me some rag, rewashable, reusable rags, hand towels, and that's what I'm going to use in the bathroom. I'm going to get some for the kitchen and I'm just not, not doing it. It's going to be very, very hard. This one, I, I don't know. I don't, I really don't know. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. <laughs> But like I said, this is a challenge. It wouldn't be challenging if it wasn't hard, right? If it would be just be so, so super easy to give up. So yeah, um, that's my list of things that I'm not buying. And I'm sure it will help me to save a little bit of money. Um, and just, you know, it's just 
sometimes we just don't need all that extra clutter and extra things and um yeah now some of these things will be really really hard to give up um i'm not perfect i'm human and it's gonna be a challenge but i want to challenge myself to give up purchasing these things in 2024 um it's about saving money it's about embracing a more minimalist lifestyle it's about less is more not having unnecessary things that i don't need um so we'll see how it goes but i know it's gonna be hard and i may slip up here and there um I have to show myself some grace. You guys be kind. Show me some grace as well. And we'll, we'll just see how it goes. And let me know if there's anything you've decided that you're not buying in 2024. Comment below. Let me know. Let's, if you want to um, copy my list and also try to challenge yourself to avoid buying these things as well, you're welcome to do that. And let me know if you're going to try it. And we'll see how it goes. We'll hold each other accountable. In embracing a minimalist lifestyle, um, these are the things that I'm giving up in 2024 to avoid clutter and just to keep my space neat, free, and clear. And that's it. I'll catch up with you guys on the next video. Bye.